Well, listen, you're a fantastic ambassador for Irish and women's cycle. First place in the TT, third place in the elite women's road race. Put your hands together. Thank you. Chewing cup buddy from years ago. Uh, former national champion, you go to the line, you're wearing number one. Everybody has you marked. No more than we spoke earlier on to Grace when it's a Joe Fenley. Is there that much pressure at the start line? Um, in previous years, I've definitely felt the pressure, but this year is my last year cycling, and oh. <laughs> and um, no, I just I was here to enjoy it. To be honest, um, I'm on a bit of a break from training and stuff at the moment because I'm trying to build towards the world and I had a very big uh, and busy early season so I knew I wasn't maybe in top shape also the course didn't suit me 100% so I was just kind of here to see what happened and Well now if you talked about the selection and indeed it went from 8 and whittled down to 4 again yeah. and really what we were hearing on the radio was Olivia and yourself were making all the plays 
did you did that take too much out of you on the run in? Um, I actually think Mel was very very strong, but um, she's new to racing and maybe she needs to learn a bit more. Which I'm sure she will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually believe she was the strongest in the race. In that you mean you mean tactically and tactically? Terms of, yeah. Yeah, we saw um, we saw the sprint finish. Yeah. But I think she's a deserving winner. She was the strongest in the race. Um, maybe myself and Olivia were watching a bit each other a bit too much in the end. And she came up on the left and she won a fair square. Well, again, silver medal in the yeah, National Eating Equipment Championships. Put your hands together. <laughs> and Kelvin playing along with the lights. Yeah, she got a medal a few years ago again. <laughs> <laughs> and Okay, Melanie again on the podium, second place on Thursday night. Radio Siobhan referred to the tactics and that. I know on the race radio during the race, one name we did not hear was yours. A lot of it attacking by Olivia. Siobhan likewise. You, you had to say the toilet, you went all day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, again, as I said, I'm quite new to this, so I think I was more following the attacks rather than attacking myself. I still don't quite know when this is a good place to go. But what I did um, manage to do a few times was that we were going over the last hill. They were easing up, and I went over to kept the pace up, and I think that also helped to hopefully break up the race a little bit. I mean, they were doing most of the work for all the attacks, and I followed them, so they were very, very strong riders, and I, my legs were in bits. But in fairness, as the girl say, Siobhan might say in terms of tactically, I mean, you showed 300 metres to go. I think maybe attacking a little bit earlier with some Martin O'Loughlin may have done so. But on that road, that's finishing from the roundabout. The wind is coming from the left hand side. You may have exposed yourself. You took a significant win today. A couple of bike lengths on uh, Siobhan Harbin. Um, well, as I think Siobhan was saying that they were probably watching each other a little bit more than me and I was on the other side of the road and I had myself uh, put up at 200 meters, I'm going to go if they're not going to go. And I just started to sprint and at 200 meters to go and didn't look back and I think they didn't follow so I went over the line first and it, it, I don't know, it just kind of happened like that. Okay. <laughs> Listen, it's a serving national elite women's program. And that presentation is by Paul from the Race Organization. Hi Melanie, congratulations on your first ever national uh, road race championship and your first win. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> so your gold medal, yes. how was your race? Oh, uh, <laughs> my race, uh, it was pretty hard. Um, some people were not sure if the course would be selective enough. There's, a, it's basically an out on one side and then on the other side of the river you go back. So on the way out there was a lot of bumps and people weren't sure if the bumps would be selective. But I think with the headwind and uh, Olivia and Siobhan attacking on these climbs every almost every lap bar the first one, it was actually a very hard race in the end. So I was happy to even be with the group in the in the very end and. Yes, it was a hard race, so I do think um, you know the, the right people were at the front towards the finish. So yeah. Yes, I noticed that you did a lot of uh, lining out. You lined up the bunch quite a lot. No, they they were saying that you didn't do a lot of work, but I I think you actually did do a lot of work. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I I didn't do as much attacking. Uh, I'm more a person who reacts to attacks at the moment because I'm still quite learning where is a good place to attack. And um, when, I, when the attack goes and when I am in front, then I do do my work, but I was possibly less uh, active in the attacking. So I do think I pull my weight. <laughs> so I was just talking to one of your, uh, your team car manager there who was telling me that you might have some, uh, you might go to do some world championships this year after this? Well, um, that is, I guess, in the hands of Cycling Ireland. Um, it makes less sense for me to do the Road World Championships because I'm not as experienced on the international uh, circuit of racing and I'd say Olivia Dillon and Siobhan Horgan would be very well suited for that but um, I'm hoping that I could go possibly for the Time Trial World Championships. I do think I can 
I know I only I got a silver medal in it, but I do think I can still gain a lot of uh, lose a lot of time, uh, probably for better wording for a time trial. Um, I do think I can improve on my time trialing quite a bit. I have been doing it now for six weeks, so with a bit more training and a bit more focus on it, I do think I can get better. So. And are you going to uh, try the national, uh, the mountain bike national championships as well? Yes, as well? I will. Um, I have a new bike sitting at home. From a sponsor from Cycleways, and it hasn't been used yet because I was concentrating now on the time trial and the road championships. But as soon as I'm going home, I can't wait to take my new bike out. So, yeah, I definitely want to do those. Okay, so congratulations on two national medals, and uh, hopefully, maybe a, a, a next one on the mountain bike next. Is it next month? Yeah. Next it. month. All right. Congratulations again, and thank you. Thank you very much.